Peter decides to step out of the boat and walk towards Jesus. And he sees the waves and he starts to sink. I do not know what your waves are. I can't even begin to guess, but I know what the waves have been in my life. I know what they've been in the lives of the people that I love and I know. Health problems, marriage problems, loneliness, money problems, 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 any kind of problems. They're crashing against your bow. And you're sitting there struggling against this wheel, just trying to get to where you're going. You know those old boats have something awesome in the back called an anchor. And you drop it and it goes down and it holds firm to the rock. And that's what keeps that boat from getting washed out to sea and lost and capsized. talk about their loved one is, is oh, she's my rock, or he's my rock. Listen, that rock is going to fail you. It's just sandstone. Maybe you've got the best husband in the world, but he's going to fail you. Jesus is the only rock that you can anchor into, that you can hold on to, that will hold you safe and firm, and will get you through the storm. Let us worship him for who he is and all that he is. Because he paid a price beyond what we can even imagine so that we can have hope in him. And for that, how can we not be grateful? How can we not be transformed? How can we not want to be a new person? That should, like, blow us away.